Hi, my name is Janet. I'm 69 years old, a lifelong Democrat, and I have walked away. Uh, our story began back uh, several years ago when friends were starting to open our eyes to what was going on with the Democratic Party and showing us what was wrong, and we just didn't believe them. We thought they were just being silly, foolish, and we just kind of brushed them off. But over the years, several other family members had also started telling us the same thing that our friends were telling us, and we're starting to pay attention now. And we voted for Obama the first time, and we thought voting for him, well, he was a great speaker. We were quite impressed with everything he said he was going to do, but he gets into office and doesn't do anything that he said he was going to do. It was a complete disappointment. So... By the time he was coming up for a re-election, at that point we had decided we are not going to vote for Obama this time. We are going to vote Republican, and Mitt Romney was running, and, and I was not impressed with him at all. But since I was not going to vote for Obama, I wasn't going to not vote, so I went to the polling place and cast my vote for Mitt Romney, and I literally cried the whole way home, the whole way home. I was so upset because the first time in my life I had voted for a Republican for president, and it just broke my heart. I just, I just didn't know what to do. I did get over it, thank goodness. So um, fast forward to 2016, and <clears throat> Trump was running for president, and I couldn't believe it. I'm like, you got to be kidding. He's a businessman, a game show host. Uh, and who does he think he is? He's not a politician. But I held my nose and voted for him. And I was happy that he won because there was no way I wanted Hillary to win. There was just no way in hell I was going to ever cast my vote for her, ever. So and I started talking on Facebook about it, and I got into really serious arguments with longtime friends, and they just, they unfriended me. They blocked me, they, and their friends were bullying me. It was awful. So I, I blocked all their friends. I, I just didn't need to put up with that kind of crap. I just didn't need it in my life. So... You know, and my family members are not happy. My immediate family is fine. They're all, they've all walked away with me. My husband and my kids, they all walked away with me. But other family members, um, I'm sure they think I'm just a lunatic. I don't speak to them, I speak to one. I keep in touch with another family member, but it's, it's tense. It really gets tense because I know they think I'm just an idiot. And I'm not. I don't think I'm an idiot at all. I think I'm smart. So that's really pretty much my story. Really not much to it, but I am happier, I'm calmer, I'm not as angry as I was when I was a Democrat. I just feel more at ease around conservatives. They, it just seems to fit my, my values, the way I feel that I should live my life, more with freedom and less government. I don't want our rights being taken away, our First and Second Amendment rights. That's very important to me. And I know if Biden gets in, they're going to be they're going to be taking those rights away. They've already they said they want to. So to me, that is just frightening. It's just it's a horrible, horrible thing. So I'm going to be uh, voting red for the rest of my life. So like I said, I walked away. I'm proud to have done it, and I'm proud to belong to this beautiful group.